What is up, people? CBD reviews in the house with a lovely guest, Aaron yeah. from Daily CBD. Up, Aaron? And we are here today to talk about the differences between full spectrum, broad spectrum, and CBD isolate. Yes. Take it away, Bevan. Wow, so there's a lot of going on. People, companies keep saying they're full spectrum, but they have no THC. And for me, that's kind of impossible because full spectrum have some THC in there. Even if it's 0.3, it's still THC. And somebody who's have to worry about drug testing, they could fill a test after a few weeks, maybe even months of just constantly taking full spectrum. Mm -hmm. So we want to just talk about the difference between full spectrum, broad spectrum, and isolate. So full spectrum, the purest form of full spectrum is a plant, you know, mm -hmm. the flower, pre-rolls, that's the purest form of full spectrum. You get all the cannabinoids in there. Mm -hmm. Depends on the strain, it varies in percentage, depending on the strain. I know Bubba Kush has higher CBD content than some of the other strains. Um, broad spectrum is without the THC. Mm -hmm. That's considered broad spectrum because you're removing the THC. And isolate is basically just CBD isolated by itself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I have a whole new perspective on full spectrum now that I've understood like a bigger education on how flower works and how like the differences between flower and concentrate because flower is just as it is you know you're not doing anything to turn it into something else and that's like its most natural form right so basically we, we consider that as full spectrum because you're getting the whole plant you're getting the cannabinoids the terpenes and all the other phytocannabinoids that are included in the plant and with concentrates and oils I mean you're not getting all of the cannabinoids in there you're only getting X amount that make it through the process so um, yeah anything that doesn't have THC in it is broad spectrum so if you see a product that says full spectrum with zero THC you might want to consider not trusting that <laughs> product what are your thoughts Aaron um, you know what to add to that I've also I'm also a believer that full spectrum should contain as much it should be retain as much of the, the plant as possible even if it is in a concentrated form for example like a low pla uh, low pass rock crude oil uh, which could be a FSC full spectrum crude that can contain uh, in addition to all the phytocannabinoids the antioxidant properties of the plant like vitamin E can contain the vitamin and minerals that are contained in the hemp plant naturally phosphorus iron calcium zinc um, in addition to just the other phytonutrients that are available in the hemp plant um, so I, I, I think the more that you can retain from the hemp plant into the concentrate the better um, and I also think that you know once you start taking away those plant properties that's when you start losing some of the value of full spectrum as well because I, I think it's a connection between the phytocannabinoids and the phytonutrients and everything that's available in the, in the hemp plant. Yeah. Um, the entourage effect is powerful. It is and even chlorophyll like you know if you find like chlorophyll by itself in stores it's pretty expensive and it's something that's naturally available in the hemp plant um, and can be retained through low pass uh, um, processing for oil so yeah um, I, I love full spectrum. <laughs> me too. Once I tried full spectrum, I couldn't go back. <laughs> For me, like full spectrum, I like the bombs between isolate and full spectrum. Full spectrum bombs, from my experience, is so much better for swelling on your joints. If you have like DVT in your, your leg is swelling, if you like retaining water, you have a lot of swelling. Full spectrum. Um, Bombs and salves, like some people, you know, pain creams, work so much better for um, for swelling. So actually, it works good. You know, I use yeah. it. I just find that full spectrum is actually better, depending like the weather. So when I was in New York, the actually was working really good, but when it gets really cold, and I was like, I took that smoke the um, plant and I was rubbing my wrist, it was just the feeling was so much better. Um, so depending on where you live. You know, just so. Okay. Was it word a personal per preference? But you know, if you if you don't have to worry about drug testing, then full spectrum is always you know, the way to go. The other thing, like 
the hemp, or hemp and phytocannabinoids aren't going to work the same for everybody, so it really is about getting to know your body, body. and, and yes. what works well with your body. Yes. Um, it you all know, starts with you. <laughs> everything that we know so far is pretty anecdotal, so it's all going to come from just trying it out. and. Uh, just because if you find one product doesn't work, doesn't mean another one might not, you know, so. Exactly. Start small. Yeah. Yes. It's a journey to figure yes. out which phytocannabinoids and which products are going to work for you. Exactly. For those of you who keep thinking that it's like pills, it's not like popping pills and feel the instant relief. You have to keep taking it for, I always recommend at least 7 to 14 um, days. And that's where you can tell if it's helping you. And you can just adjust it. You can take a little bit more. But you don't want to take too much now, you know, like, um, Dr. Kim over on um, Hemp Hotline last week he was saying that some people take so much that the body just discarded it, right? You yeah, know, essentially. It's, it's too much, you're taking too much, so yeah. just find what works for you and you'll be okay. It's like vitamin C. Um, our bodies can absorb so much that it can absorb and then the rest of it goes into the urine, so um, yeah, you want to you wanna find out what's going to work for you. One thing about uh, CBD isolate that I actually recently learned discussing with the owner of the CBD soaking salt brand, uh, she only uses CBD isolate in her products, but she also adds specific essential oils that have terpenes to kind of add to that entourage effect. Because you know, terpenes are terpenes, they all have the same molecular form. So they'll be able to work together just as they would if, you know, you had actual other cannabinoid or phytocannabinoid compounds with the product um, so she thinks that if she made a product that had uh, like a broad spectrum product that people wouldn't be able to tell the difference between <laughs> the quality of her CBD isolate product and a broad spectrum product because she feels like her product works amazingly just as it is with the terpenes and the CBD isolate but again it's all anecdotal and I mean if you look at like how these terpenes are used in other resources, like these in essential oils, they, these terpenes are used for themselves to to have certain properties. So, in addition to phytocannabinoids like THC, CBD, CBG, it's 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 gonna yeah I, I see that having a great effect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you have it. You know. Yeah. Until next time. Less distractions, you know. Yeah, you're in there, Bev. Yeah, Bevan, you're right, cool. in there, crystal clear. So <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, peep! <laughs> 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 <laughs>